to District 1. How great is it to see you here, right in the heart of my district? Wow, I hadn't seen as much action in Thomas and Max since the Running Rebels won the Final Four. This is amazing. You know, it looks like a... them going and send them to the White House. <laughs> you know, this nation is right on the brink of an historic reckoning, and Nevada is positioned to take the lead. Now, Nevada, we can lead this nation into the future, or we can witness it falling back, falling back into the darkness of Donald Trump when women's rights were disregarded, minority rights were trampled, small businesses and working families were left behind, and children were sent to school hungry where they could not learn. That is not where we want to go. And as Stephen said, and as the Vice President likes to say, we are not going back. We are not going back. going back. And if Nevada has anything to do with it, we won't go back. Am I right? You know, real hope and progress come from real people. And that's who Kamala Harris and Coach Walls are. They are real people. They care about real people like us. You know, you look at the vice president by the side of Joe Biden. She led us here in Southern Nevada to recover from COVID when we were the hardest hit area in the whole country. You know, the, the investment in infrastructure, the expansion of health care, uh, protecting renewable energy and expanding it, all those things affected us directly. And Tim Walls, I served with Tim in the House on the Veterans Affairs Committee. And he has, he made a priority of veteran suicide and disability responses and uh, benefits because he cares about the people who serve this country so bravely in uniform. That's who real people are. You leave no soldier behind on the field, you know, leave no veteran behind once he comes home. And they're not going to leave any of us behind. They've done an awful lot, but there's a lot more to do. We've got to protect a woman's right to choose. We've got to protect it. We've got to protect the right to unionize. Absolutely. <laughs> We've got to protect the right to vote. They're coming after that. We got to protect Social Security and Medicare. They want to get rid of that. In effect, we have got to protect democracy. It's a big job, but we got broad shoulders. We can do it here in Nevada. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. You know, by the way, I'm one of those miserable, childless cat ladies. And, uh, oh, old J.D. Vance apologized to my cat, but he didn't ever apologize to me for what he had to say. So I got a word for J.D. Vance. You better hide behind that sofa because we're coming for you. We are coming for you, J.D. <laughs> That's right. We're coming for J.D. Vance. We're coming for the MAGA folks. Donald Trump, we're coming for you. Hear it loud from Nevada. We are coming for you.
Let me hear you say it so I can hear it back in Washington. We're coming for you. <laughs> and what a day it's going to be. Can you just see that picture? The prosecutor versus the criminal. Please welcome.